I'm working really hard every day on my Trooper 7 because I want to upload part 5 as soon as possible uh, but it looks like I have to wait first because uh, the airplane is not 100% finished there's still some stuff to do and I'm waiting because Lufthansa are going to announce a new library uh, in, at the 7th of February that means in one week and I'm so excited I hope they are going to make something really cool I mean I still love the old one it's it's so lovely I love the old library from Lufthansa and of course I bought all the colors for it the vinyl the the blue and the yellow one and also I bought the spray for the under belly which is the, the light gray and yeah I hope they I, I don't know if they're going to change the colors or maybe they will keep the same colors but they will change the style of it I don't know I have no idea because it's not announced yet and yeah so uh, in the next video the the part 5 I think I think it's not 100% sure yet it's going to be sponsored by a company it's not 100% sure so the agreement still in progress and you will know that when I upload that video so now I thought like it will take time and, and it's, it's, it's a long time for me to upload a video on my channel so I thought let me make an update video for you and show you what I'm doing and uh, yeah I made some cool stuff I changed some things and yeah I'm really really happy with the results the airplane is going to look super scale and super cute and nice yeah, first thing there, there are some bars already finished, like the left wing, the left wing is finished, white, and I painted it down, which is, I don't know if I have to change the paint, but yeah, the wing is 100% finished, the light, and also another cool thing I did, the windows. They are now, uh, like, I cut the windows, not, they are not just st sticker, I cut the windows, and I made like a cockpit inside, it's not like full cockpit, it's just I made some uh, I 3D printed two seats from a sports car <laughs> because there are no, no seats for airplanes, I did not find and I'm not good at designing like you know those uh, 3D design, I'm not good at those this stuff so I just, what I found online I just download and print so those are the only seats I found and yeah I'll show you closely uh, yeah, because uh, the the triple seven the the X the triple seven X uh, the seats they are, they have this sporty looking uh, which is like a little bit close to what I did in here so I cut everything I bent it here and it's going to be white the fuselage is all finished very clean very soft ready for bent and uh, the right wing there was something wrong with it because. Uh, from the middle to the wing tip it was twisted around uh, like from the middle to the the wing tip was twisted around three degrees and that's too much that means the airplane will immediately roll and nobody want to see this the crash I mean after eight months of working and still two months to go that means ten months in total working on the airplane and then crash that will be a very big disappointment Anyway, so I had to cut and redo some fiberglass and yeah, there was like too much to do. I did so many things in here and yeah, I hope now I solved the problem. Hopefully, still not finished yet. I made the hatch for the electronics and the battery. The wing mount, I removed it, all of it because it wasn't 100% straight with the fuselage. Uh, was the, the the wings angle of attack they were super down that means it was wrong uh, unfortunately I figured out they figured out that later so I removed the whole thing and I'm gonna redo the thing and uh, of course the brain which is all the connections all the electronics receiver and the sequencers and the gyros all the stuff are not installed yet because I'm waiting to finish the wing mount so I can finish the underbelly, the, I don't know what that section called and the main landing gear doors and then I can start installing all the connectors because in each wing there are like around 6 connectors to each wing and yeah that's a lot to do but we're almost there and yeah so let me get the camera and walk you through and give you a closer look on everything I did 
So let's start with the nose, the windows. They look very scale, like exactly like the Trouble 7. And uh, yeah, from the side, looks perfect. It took me really a long time to do it. And yeah, those are the seats. I mean, they are just seats. And when I close the whole thing, all the windows, you won't see exactly like 100% inside, but you will notice that there are seats, which is that's what I want. And yeah, I made, I installed the first window just like I was testing it and it worked perfect. Yeah, I have to finish all the remaining windows. The fuselage is soft, strong, and ready for painting. And this is the hatch. That's a big hatch with two releases here. So, um, here we're going to be all the electronics, receiver and stuff. And I will make a small, like a dash or something with all the switches and um, some stuff, cool stuff, you will see them later. And the batteries are going to be somewhere in this section, uh, depending on the CG of the airplane. Yeah, still a lot to do in here. I also changed the fuselage mount. Uh, this is like a piece of wood in here and another piece of wood in the other section. And there is um, a fiber, a carbon fiber rod in here, another one in here. With screws, goes directly in the in the carbon fiber. That means it's it, w it w makes it very strong. And two screws, one in here, one in there, and two down here. So I'm not worried about the mount. It's super strong. Here's the wings mount. I removed the whole thing. I have to do it again, as I said. And yeah, the tail. The tail and the rudder. I also changed, I cut some of the rudder. It was up to here. So I cut it and I make it round, like, because I did not notice that on the 9X that the rudder is different and higher. So I made it also a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, it's perfect now, also ready. And this is the tail. There are two LEDs exactly like the real one for the nose gear i made something new because i did not find any retracts which can retract up to 120 degrees everything i found was 90 degrees as a maximum like 90 degrees so i had to 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 to, to come out with something new to make the wheel goes fully inside that means i mean look at it this is not 90 degrees if if, if the wheel base is here it goes 90 degrees down and then when I retract it, it stays like this. This is 90 degrees. That means the wheels are going to stay outside the fuselage and the doors won't close and it will be a catastrophe. I had this problem in my old airliners. And for this one, I wanted to make it really scale. So I did something so cool. Let me show you how it works. Let's see. So they open. Look at that. You see, those are like, you know, 20 degrees uh, extra I needed. And there's a servo inside, which tilted the, the whole mount of the nose wheel, the whole thing. And when I close it, you see, and it goes for the inside. And then the doors closes yeah i mean there's still not 100 percent and some sanding and some adjustment but yeah you will see how i did that uh on part five you will see the servo the whole mechanism i made uh it works perfect i'm really happy with it so this is the right wing it's uh finished it's ready focus please yeah and this is uh the light there's an led inside that's a really powerful led and uh yeah, it's all super smooth and shiny. Those are the spoilers, the flaps, everything is working, everything is perfect. The yellow run is also fully functional. And this is the wing winglet. On Airbus they call it wing tip. And Boeing they call it winglet. I, I don't know why. Anyway, and uh, those are the LEDs navigation light this is the 
uh, red one and this is the flashing strobe light and yeah this is perfectly working and I made a screw in here so when I fly I have to secure it with a screw because this, the servo is not st that strong to to hold the, the lift or whatever when it fly it will be like wobbling and so there is a screw and yeah engine nacelles I love the engine nacelles this one is not fixed yet you see it's perfect it's not finished yet some more sanding and I don't know the color yet and I'm really happy with it that's the second one I love it and also the elevators are ready this is um, it's all vinyl covered with vinyl super smooth shiny and this is the LED for the tail light which is logo light and there is a 25 kilogram torque servo in here very strong this is like 55 grams uh, servos very strong and this is the mount I'm really happy with those strong and yep they are ready and the landing gear I did something new I made the servo for steering look I show you a video now so it steers because those are three wheels and when the airplane is turning hard the wheels will go straight and it will break the whole thing so we needed like a small tilt which is around five degrees that's what I want and it works perfect here are the connectors those are the power for the ESCs ESC signal strobe light those are for the also the lights and the winglet those are the flaps the landing gear with the um, spoilers in here and this small red one is uh, for the retract because it gets us uh, two wires directly from the sequencer in here and yeah three fiberglass carbon fiber rods one the big one here the main and two in here and yeah those are for the screws the mount yep I'm really happy with everything I did so far and for the propellers for the fans I could not uh, find the 16 plates propeller because the the GE 9x engine for the new 777x uh, it has 16 blades but I did not find them online I just found like those are 18s more realistic but the thing is I'm not going to use them I had like a bearing in here so they turn and uh, I I'm not sure about that they will look nice maybe for display I will just install them somehow but when I fly I have to remove them because the blades are 3d printed they are super weak so when it this rotates like I don't know how fast because there will be so much air inside so if one blade breaks off it will destroy the whole thing it will destroy the engine and we will crush so that's too risky so in flight you won't see this you will just see the EDF and maybe like on display or something as I said I will just uh, install them uh, they will look just cool and uh, yeah that's it and of course my workshop is upside down very dirty so for the landing gear I wanna buy another bracket a longer one aluminium bracket or like tube and I have to cut it and make the whole shape of it again and even if it has to be thicker so it looks more scale and it has to be of course uh, longer so the airplane will be high enough for taking off and yeah you should expect part 5 let's say 2 weeks maximum 3 weeks and you will see how I did all the things I filmed I did not film that much by the way but I did my best uh, like you will see you will see how I did how I cut the windows how I made the landing the the nose gear mechanism this thing it's 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 so cool and works perfect and so many other things <coughs> Also, if you are interested in knowing some more stories about me, uh, there is a podcast from the Hobby Geek. His name is Matthew. 
and uh, he interview like um, RC pilots and builders so he made an interview with me like two months ago and I forgot to announce that anyway I will leave the links in the description you can go check it out there are some stories <laughs> yeah and thanks again to you Matthew it was a great idea and I appreciate that idea it's a great idea the airplane is going to be 17.5 kilogram that means it is very heavy I did not expect that I thought like it's going to be like 12 kilos yeah that's the maximum so now as EDFs uh, they're out I think they're out I have to go with turbines and turbines they are all way over my budget they are really expensive so I don't know I don't know what to do actually I don't know I I don't know I have to try it first taxi it and see if I will have enough thrust with my EDFs but obviously it's not going to be enough so I have to save some money and I don't know if I can afford them even to buy uh, to buy uh, turbines and yeah if you would like uh, helping me with that just go check out my Patreon and you can become a part and there you will see some private videos in there pictures which you don't see them here on YouTube and of course I would really appreciate your help in there and of course I want to say thanks like for all of you because uh, my channel has reached the f almost 40,000 subscribers that was really fast I did not expect that thank you very much I really appreciate it Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to check out my Patreon if you would like to help me. It will be somewhere here, my Patreon. You can click my Patreon here and go check out my page. I have three Patreons. I really appreciate that. And yeah, thank you very much and thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.